Hi, we're caseworkers employed by the Students' Representative Council. Our service is free, independent and confidential. Being placed on stage 1 or 2 is a good opportunity for you to address the challenges you have faced in the past or any you may encounter in the future. There are many reasons that you may have failed subjects in the past. List them in simple terms down a page. Each of these problems has affected you in certain ways. Have you had difficulty attending classes? Did you have problems concentrating in class? Did you hand in assignments late? Were you extra anxious during exams? Now you have to think about those solutions. This is the most important step. Remember that the University has a number of services available to you for free and the SRC can help you find community services as well. The Learning Centre has a time management module on their website. Use this to help you create a daily timetable and a semester plan for all your subjects. All tutors offer consultation time. Use that time to go over work you didn't quite understand in class. If money is a problem for you, then you'll need to find a sustainable solution. Remember, we can give you advice on Centrelink and tenancy. Your health is also important. If you have a chronic or ongoing health issue, you might benefit from using the disability service. They are not just for disabilities you can see. They can also help with learning disabilities or mental illness or anything else that might affect you. Counselling also helps many students. It may be that you've had some stuff happen that you're finding difficult to deal with or it may be that you have anxiety or depression. Either way, the university has a counselling and psychological service. If you prefer, we can also refer you to some other services that bulk bill through Medicare and overseas student health care. There are many other things that you could do that would help to improve your marks. There are a variety of workshops available throughout the year at the Learning Centre. Keep checking their website for new programs. They even offer one-on-one -on -one appointments to go through specific problems. There is also a Maths Learning Centre. Check out their website to see what services they offer in addition to the workshops. Take the time to understand the process of applying for special consideration. Make sure you see the doctor on the day that you are sick. Be aware of two important deadlines. The first is the census date which is the 31st of March in first semester or the 31st of August in second semester. If this is either a Saturday or a Sunday then the date is actually the Friday beforehand. If you withdraw from these subjects before that date, you will not receive an academic penalty. If you are a HEX student, you will not be charged for the subjects. The DNF deadline is the Friday of week 7. If you withdraw before then, you will not receive an academic penalty. Sometimes you can ask to get a fee refund. If you want to leave your course, you can apply for a lapse of candidature. It's like quitting a job you would be leaving that particular course from Sydney Uni only. You can still apply for other courses at Sydney Uni, other unis or at TAFE. As we said in the beginning, the SRC is a free, independent and confidential service. We hope that you'll come to see us if you need anything at all. Written by M. De Silva, spoken by M. De Silva and Jay Campbell for the Students' Representative Council of the University of Sydney, Darlington.